Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about biological rhythms. This is an ethology lecture. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So biological rhythms are repetitive biological processes. Arvind Bunning in 1936 worked on biological rhythms for the very first time. All animals possess innate biological rhythms which are driven by biochemical mechanisms. So innate means from birth. So animals possess this property from their birth. Now we will talk about different types of biological rhythms. There are different types like circadian rhythms, ultradian rhythms, infradian rhythms, tidal rhythms, lunar rhythms and seasonal rhythms. So we will talk about them one by one. First is circadian rhythms. These rhythms follow 24 hour cycle of activity and sleeping synchronized with light and darkness. Hence, animals are active at a particular time of day and they sleep at a different time. Circadian rhythm is the body's internal clock. They run to carry our essential functions. They control our metabolism. It plays an important role in physical, mental and behavioral role uh, that depends on light and dark. Hence, we are active on light and sleep at night. So, based on circadian rhythms, animals can be classified as nocturnal, diurnal and crepuscular. First is nocturnal animals. Nocturnal animals are active during night and sleep during day. Bats and owls are such animals. Diurnal animals. They are active during day and sleep at night. Examples of diurnal animals include humans, deer and dogs. Crepuscular animals. They are active at sunrise and sunset. Honeybees are active at dawn. Flies, moths, etc. They are active at dusk. Next is ultradian rhythms. The ultradian rhythms occur more than once a day. They last for short period at high frequency. For example, deep sleep for 90 minutes that we take at night, right? Next is infradian rhythms. The infradian rhythms last for more than 24 hours. Example includes human menstrual cycle in women that occurs every 28 days. Next is tidal rhythms. They are synchronized with the periodic rise and fall in sea level due to gravitational pull of sun and moon. These are commonly observed in marine life, which follow the roughly 12.4 hour transition from high to low tide and back. Next is lunar rhythms. So the moon, sun and earth are in the same positions relative to each other every 29.5 days, which is called the lunar month. Lunar rhythms follow the lunar month that is 29.5 days. Lunar rhythm influences the behaviors of marine animals as the level of the tides is modulated across the lunar cycle. Okay. So examples of lunar rhythms include the seaward migration of adult eels. They move during the waning moon. 
and the downstream migration of juvenile atlantic salmon they move around the time of new moon next is seasonal rhythms okay so seasonal rhythms are the mechanisms that allows the living creatures to survive during the change in season examples include hibernation migration and fixed breeding season we will see them hibernation so hibernation is a deep sleep that helps animals to save energy and survive the winter without eating much for example the polar bear goes into hibernation during the cold winter months migration migration is a seasonal movement of animals from one habitat to another in search for food better conditions or reproductive needs for example salmon start life in rivers and migrate to the sea to feed and grow after spending up to 7 years in the ocean they migrate back to the rivers they were born in so that they can spawn next is seasonal breeders some animals are seasonal breeders seasonal breeders breed only during a certain time of the year if the condition is favorable example cows dogs horses pigs cats the females of these animals undergo an estra cycle during which they mate so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture if you want to get the pdf notes of this topic please find the first pinned comment or the description box thank you